Over here, Larry's We're looking at this Super Beetle here. All right, Larry, take take three. We've got golfers here on the other side. Welcome back, guys. I'm here with Larry in a 73 Super Beetle. You might have seen this on Dubworks channel. I also asked him filming this car from the show I went to. I just haven't put it out yet. But Larry, unfortunately, backed this car out of his garage. Take it, take it, Larry. Tell me what happened. Well, I was uh, going back in the house to get a few things and concerned about tree work being done. I didn't have the parking brake on, on fully. And I come out of the house and the car rolled down the bank and smashed into the tree. So I went down and it was still running and I figured, well, I'll drive it up the hill and I drove it up the hill back into the garage. So here's the tree he kissed. You can see the tire mark here. You can see we got quite a significant hill here. So we'll go check out the damage. So I don't think he's had this car long. He's got another standard. It was originally blue. You can see here the Speedo was popped popped out from the impact the ashtray the ashtray actually popped out as well solid car the previous title was Arizona see we got the pop out windows nice door gap doors closed nice but we got some work to do here fender deck lid bumper it's pretty pretty crushed the inner fender well as well i think the 1303s are the wraparound windshield 72 was last year the flat maybe it was a marathon beetle that blue well larry this is the first time i've i think i've i've sat in a 1303 i've never driven one Oh, it comes with a three-quarter tank of gas. Yeah. Oh, wait, now I drove my Scout last week. Last week I drove my Go ahead, hit the rear. Hit, hit the rock wall. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, Larry, it drives like a dream. This is a rare occurrence. I'm going to drive a car on the trail. I'll be looking. I never moved the camera. <laughs> oh, I forgot to move the camera. <laughs> I always do that. Oh, she's on. They got the gist. Well, there it is, ladies and gentlemen. Looks good on there. Matches my trailer. 73. Super. Oh.
see what we can do with that. See what we can do with that. Now, now look, look at all the garage space you have, Larry. Right. Just think of the activities. It's a great car. Was was a great car. And will be. Will be. You can fix it. <laughs> uh, Super Beetle. That was my driver until a mishap. Stupidity on my part. Happens. Rolling down into the tree. Happens. Didn't get your shed. It didn't end up in your neighbor's pool. Right. So. Could have been worse. Could have been worse. Exactly. So that's going to wrap it up for us guys. 73. Thank you Larry. Right. Appreciate you contacting me on the 1503. Keep, you know, keep in touch. Oh for sure. For sure. Alrighty. All right, I'm gonna get this thing home. Well, we made it back and on the way home, I couldn't help but wonder about this car, if this is the Marathon Blue. We've got ET41 rims. I did a little research. I think the Sport Bug would have ET26 rims, the deeper dish. But this was, see, that looks like Marathon Blue to me. It has the blacked out features, 73 Super Beetle, did have the Marathon Blue Sport Bug. What it does not have is the Recaro or Sport Seats, the VW Sport Wheel, but I mean this car was blue. I also tried to check off camera here the paint code, but you can see they painted over it. I tried to scrape it away with a razor blade. No, no luck there. But I really, really think this is a Marathon Blue car. So what do you think? Maybe somebody swapped out the 5.5 ET26 rims and maybe took the sport seats out. Well, I'm not sure, but I think they only offered that color on the Marathon Sport Bug. So if you guys have any info on that, I'd appreciate you dropping a comment below. But let's get on to trying to get this thing pulled out. I'll take this thing down the road for a drive, see how it drives. All right, guys, well, I got the winch hooked up. I'm just gonna pull on this just to see how easy this will pull. Okay. Oh, that's right, I forgot. My solenoid doesn't work. Awesome. Do we keep going? Let's go one more. Right, I gotta get under. But, we did at least get this off the uh, body fender. So I'm going to have to actually back up to release the tension on that. Yeah, I'm having an issue with my solenoid, so... Let's go ahead and uh, maybe grab this under. Grab it on that. Maybe we can get it on that tow hook now. I'm gonna try to get this angle the way the impact I'm guessing happened. We can try and pull this straight back. If we can get on this hook right here. I don't want to pull it sideways though, because I think we can actually I think we can actually get on it. You know what? Pull forward and we'll just pull that out of here. Alright, we're going to try and just want to try to get this tow hook um, part of it.
that's looking good. The wow, that bumper mount is really. We can get the deck lid almost open, I think. Well, um, I'm surprised that stayed in there as long as it did. Jack Wagon got ahead of himself and uh, forgot to put the hitch pin in. <laughs> hey, the good news is I don't have to move the uh, trailer again. I think we might be able to get the deck lid open. Oh yeah. clearance there that's nice let's take a look at the engine on this car oh nice power pulley alternator it's got the 009 wash blue it's a oh, I don't see any engine numbers there might be a rebuilt well, that's good progress here guys I'm, I'm happy with this so far we're able to get the bumper pulled back out we can get the deck lid open get a look at the engine I'll drive the car I it was a running driving car it was his daily he dailied it quite often so um, but happy with this I'll pull this out a little more that look all right I'm gonna stop looking at the bumper and start looking at this I think we need to pull this try to pull this from here now and pull the hair more out and maybe I can get some of this inner fender well let's come back so let's try that Again, I have no experience with pulling um, dents. You know, some of it's common sense, just try to reverse, but bear with me. I think I'm done pulling on this bumper mount. Let's get it off the trailer. I, I do want to take it for a drive and see how it drives. I, <laughs> you saw my test drive, I backed it up two feet. Quick check the oil. Before we go on our maiden voyage, we're down a quart. It's about due for an oil change, but I'll get a quart in there. Oh, that belt. Belt's loose, huh? Yeah. Not going to get good cooling with a loose belt. Let's tighten that up. First drive. Check the brakes. Always, always check.
check your brakes as you're about to come down a downhill that stops into a T. Hands off the wheel, brakes straight. It's a good sign. Let's grab second here. Shut it down and get a look at that motor. E brake is good. Got some smokage. Not the kind of smokage you would expect at a dead end cul de sac. All right, that's gonna wrap it up for the 1303. I'm back in the Super Beetle Club. German look, who knows what we're doing with this thing. We gotta find out if it's a sports bug. So thanks for dropping in. You guys have a great week and we'll see you soon. Take care guys.